Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another video. So today I'm working on a layout about uh, one of the artefacts at the Elvis exhibition in London at the moment, the Direct from Graceland exhibition. I have documented this before when I visited in November, but I actually visited again um, last week. So uh, I'm documenting some new things. So I've got great textured cardstock here and this pattern, musical note pattern paper which is Bella Boulevard, Happy Birthday Song, and it's Birthday Bash, the collection, and um, I've since ordered another sheet of this because I really like it a lot. So what I've got is I've got this 6 by 8 sheet of paper from the Ellie Studio I Love You um, packet, paper stack. I've got this 4 by 4 photo of this rubber stamp um, that is um, promoting the Elvis movie Clambake. And out of all the things at the exhibition... There's some amazing things at the exhibition. I kept, I kept being drawn back to this. And I really, really want it. But obviously that's not going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd document that this time. I saw it when I was there last time. I didn't take a proper photo of it. So I thought I'd take a proper photo of it this time. I've got these two movie themed layered textured stickers here. Um, from that packet that I purchased from the range. This one from the range. I've got this little die cut beach piece here which I've done myself from this little die which I've no idea where it came from it's just in my stash I've added gesso to four of these little circles here and I thought I'd stamp favour on them and I was thinking about putting them on the white here but I don't know I think they might stand out better on the orange so I'm not too sure about that first of all I'll get this down which I want to be centred well, I'm not going to use my um, tea with I'm just going to eyeball it, I think. Now then. I think that's about right. Probably should have used my tea ruler because it's of the straight lines. It would be obvious if it's not straight, but, you know, down now, it's not coming up. I want to lie. I want to line this edge here against the um, top of that paper, but I know it probably should go this way. But I like the idea of of it going here. And it says movie night. This one I think I'm gonna pop here. It's a vertically centered design, but I was thinking about extending the embellishments, embellish, which is what I quite often do. Um, This should have been a bit lower. I think it's too late. Yeah, it's too late. I think my original idea was to have this a bit lower, but it's fine. I couldn't decide whether to have these on here or not. I'd have to ink that up. Um, and then I'm thinking, the other thing I was thinking was with having these on here would be to stamp some in small planner type images across here and do journaling here. It says love you across here, which I don't want to hide. I want that to still be visible. Now the movie Clambake is about Elvis is kind of a rich person, but he thinks people only like him for that reason. So he kind of swaps places with someone who's not rich. And that's kind of the like theme of the movie. Um, and it's also about boats as well. So I'm thinking, I don't think I've got small boat stamps apart from like ferries, which is not the kind of boat, it's more like a speed boat. I've got, I don't know if you can see this, I've got all these little planner themed ones. So I've got popcorn, clapperboard, what do you call that, the camera, tickets and musical notes. So maybe I'll just do that across there, which means I will want to put these on here. I could have put these across here and just stamped around them, but I think I'm going to... Um, do that and put them there on the orange. So I need to stamp out fave. I'm going to use my um, Ranger Archival ink. Don't like don't like that though at all. It's not come out right, is it? 
And then let's have another go with an A. That's not an A. Find an A. These have all kind of fallen off the page, so it's difficult to find the ones you're looking for. Just realised, when I came up with the idea for this, I wanted to use the outline stamp and not the fill, filled in bit. So I'm just going to lightly stamp that, see what it looks like. And what I'll do is I'm going to redo that one, because I don't like how it's come out anyway. And I'll do that one off camera because I'll have to add some gesso to another one of these uh, circles. We'll see how it goes. If I'm not, if I don't like it, because I'm using this Ranger ink. If I, if it sort of, if the ink spreads, then I might redo it all again in um, stays on. But for now, we'll see how that goes. Right, that's down, isn't it? It's a simple. It's going to be a simple layout. Uh, now I'm thinking. I don't know whether it needs something at the bottom here. Something here. I'll add this to the page. I used to have a Zy1 sticker maker, which would have been perfect for this, but it ran out of. Um, it ran out of refill and yeah I think the refills were really expensive so I didn't I didn't turn bother to get any more pop this on this side level with the bottom of the uh, pattern paper there still thinking about this here um right in here stamp in here what did I do with my little stamp block put it away Ah, it's over there on my ink pad. Right, let's see what we've got here, shall we? We've got a musical note. Move that out of the way. Definitely should have done this before adding the uh, stickers. Do it a bit random. I have actually gone over the blank one of that. So it says, love you. And that's the blank one in the middle, so that's okay. So look at the ticket. Can't quite see that. Just finding a scrap stamp on two. Is there a way up for the ticket? Don't think so. Can't quite see, so I might maybe I'll just do it both ways. those and then I've got the movie camera projector I'm not sure if that's what it's called that only goes one way that looking that way I think I'll just do two of that and then I've, what have I got here popcorn I think I said didn't I popcorn always have to have popcorn watching a movie and then there was something else wasn't there the clapperboard that's it should really have pop as well or even pizza in fact I think I'm going to go and get a little pizza stamp and a pop stamp if I can find one found the pizza stamp, pizza slice from a Bow Bunny stamp set, Icons stamp set, because when I quite often when I watch movies I do have pizza. I did, the bottle of pop one I've got is too big, I think I'm going to leave that off. So that's my little planner icon stamping done. These are going to go here. Um, when they're dry and I've redone that one, I'll, stick, I'll just stick those down with wet glue. And I've got to think about whether I need to do anything at the bottom here. Just grabbed out some of my washi tape. Um, quite like the black. It doesn't really need it, but it's just that I've left that gap at the bottom there. So I think I am going to add some. Just there. Kind of like looking as though it's what's attaching this pattern paper to the page as well. 
can add a glitter piece as well. I always like to add tape underneath my washi just because, um, yeah, it doesn't stick otherwise for the long term. A little bit later in the morning doing this, so I think the sun is coming around. It's actually Easter Saturday today. I hope everyone's having a nice Easter weekend. That's your thing. I hope you can't hear the tree people. I've got some tree people in the garden doing some work for me. Um, yeah, that's quite dark, isn't it? I don't know if I like that now. Can we have a look at the silver, adding a bit of silver. If I can find the end. This one's, I think this one might have come to the end actually. Don't even know if there's enough on there. I think I'm going to add a little bit of that as well. I might add a staple of some kind. Well, not of some kind, just a staple. <laughs> what I meant was an attachment of some kind, and, and that would be a staple because <laughs> I've already added the glue. I think that looks a bit better. Loopy. I think that's the washi tape actually. Where there's some from when it's come around the roll, there's bits underneath it. I'm not sure why. I think I like that. Don't know for sure if I do. Hmm. I feel as though now I might need to put something here. Now I did think about putting the name of the boat, the oh look, that's why there's another layer on the top. Um, I did think about putting the name of the boat that Elvis is that is in the movie, so that's called Rawhide. There's another one called Scarlet Lady. Um, there's a possibility I could pop that along here. At the moment, I'm just going to leave it as it is. The sun's coming in here, isn't it? So I'm going to uh, leave you now. What I'll do is I'll add the journal in here, just saying about how amazing the exhibition is, but how I'm actually drawn to this very simple artefact, which is the rubber stamp promoting the movie. You know, there's many, many, many um, artefacts there. There's uh, clothing, there's jewellery, there's all kinds of things, cars and everything. But yeah, this is what drew me uh, the uh, rubber stamp. So thank you for joining me. I haven't been scrapbooking much this month. I'll be doing my update video shortly. As I say, it's Easter Saturday today. Um, yeah, I've had a busy month, so not too much scrapbooking. But I thought I'd come on and do one at the end of the month. Um, get a little bit creative over the Easter weekend. So once again, stay safe, take care. Thank you for joining me and I shall see you next time.